Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Cash App and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately and that is how do you buy stock on Cash App? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Also, this is assuming that you have already verified your Cash App and have been approved for stock trades. If you haven't done that yet, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes that process in detail. Once that's done, if you'd like to learn how to buy stock on Cash Cash App. It's all handled here in the app, this green and white one right here. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open up my Cash App and it should bring you right here to the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you'd like to buy stock on Cash App, you want to click on this little squiggly line down here on the bottom right. Okay, once you click there, then it's going to bring up the investing portion of Cash App. As you can see, I just have just a small amount of money invested in my Cash App. Next, if you want to buy a stock on Cash App, first you need to go ahead and search for it right here. And you can easily just type in either the stock name or the ticker or the name of the company. If you're not sure what type of stock that you would like to buy on Cash App, you can go ahead and use this browse feature and shop by industry. So banking and finance, energy, ETFs, or you can do what I do and just easily just type in here at the top. So for example, we'll buy some Microsoft stock on Cash App today. So I just typed in micro and you can see Microsoft popped up right here. Once you've found the stock that you would like to buy on Cash App, go ahead and just click on the company and then it's going to bring up more information, the stock chart for that particular company. So as you can see, Microsoft has done quite well since the 80s. Well, wow. next, if you want to go ahead and buy stock on Cash App, go ahead and click on this buy button. Okay, next, this screen pops up and you can choose a one-time order, which is what I'm going to do. But if you want to change that, just click on this line and then it lets you know you can do automatic daily, weekly, or bi-weekly purchases of this stock. You can also set a custom purchase order. So if the stock price hits a certain price, then it would trigger a buy for you. But I'm just going to do a one-time order. So let me close that. And then for the purpose of this video, we will buy $10 worth of Microsoft stock. All right, I'm going to click next. Next, you're going to get this confirmation screen saying that I'm buying $10 worth of stock with my Cash App. It lets me know the funding source. So I have money inside my Cash App. So it's going to withdraw from my Cash App account. It's going to be a market order. It's going to be placed it tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. when the market's open because I'm doing this video on Sunday, which is not a trading day. Also lets me know the approximate share price and the total purchase amount along with any fees. If all that looks good to you, go ahead and click schedule or buy. All right, just a few seconds later, Later, this confirmation pops up. It says my stock order will be placed tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. If you place your order during trading hours, usually the order is going to be filled almost immediately. So let me click on done and it just brings you back here to the stock chart. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to buy stock on Cash App, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.